Hello and welcome to this video on ingesting a load file into Intella. There are a number of different types of load file formats used by various systems. The current version of Intella, version 2.0.1, can ingest relativity, concordance and a CSV formatted load file. In version 2.0 we have updated the load file ingestion wizard to a more simplistic import wizard. The 13 input screens from the old wizard have been reduced down to just 3 screens. The user now only has to select the load file, configure the limiters and map fields to ingest the load file. Before you ingest the load file into Intella, you should make sure that the load file which you have received has been created to the correct specification. Note that discussions regarding the specifications of the load file between the two parties should have taken place before receiving the load file. During the discussions, agreement on the specification should have been reached so that both parties know what to expect in terms of which fields and parameters will be included in the load file. The load file will need to be copied to a local drive on the Intelli system. Once done, click on Sources from the menu at the top. Select Add New and select the Load File option. Because load files can be complex, we show some information stating that you should be experienced with working with load files or you should seek a load file specialist to assist you. This message can be turned off by selecting this checkbox. In the Import Load File window, select New Data to ingest a complete load file. We also have an option to ingest an overlay but we will take a look at overlays in another video. Path to the DAT and OPT or the CSV file to be ingested. You can add a name for the source and custodian details in these fields. If you have ingested a load file in the past and you created an import template, you can select the template from the list. We also provide some standard templates with Intella. The Configure Delimiters window allows the user to adjust some of the import options. For example, if non-standard delimiters were used in the load file, the user can configure the delimiters here. If non-standard encoding is used for the load file, the user can try to detect the encoding automatically by using this button. The date and time format can be configured here. It is important that the date and time format matches the same format shown in the load file. If the encoding is detected, you will see a preview of the load file. The load file preview table will show the first 100 records in the load file. This table can be used to make sure that the correct parameters for the load file have been specified. The image preview panel will show the first image associated with the selected table record. This preview can be used to ensure that the Opticum file has loaded correctly. The text preview shows a raw view of the text in the load file. It can be used to check which delimiters have been used. Intella will validate the load file using these settings and will display the validation result in the status line. If the load file is validated successfully, the number of columns found in the load file will be displayed. When validation fails, a message showing the issue will be displayed in this line. The final screen allows the user to map the load file fields to fields within Intella. This is the most important part of the load file import process. It requires some manual field mapping by the user. Mistakes can occur, so care should be taken. Always double check the settings on the screen before clicking on the finish button as once the load file has been ingested it cannot be removed and data fields cannot be changed. Intella has a number of built in fields that load file data can be mapped to. There are three categories of fields that you may encounter in a load file. The first category of fields which have the same name as the fields in Intella. These are usually commonly used fields with names such as to, from, cc and subject. These fields can be mapped to the same Intella fields without any issues. 
The second category are fields that don't have the exact same name as fields in Intella, but the field names share the same meaning. An example is the contributor field for a document in Intella. This basically shows the last user who edited the document. In some versions of Microsoft Word and Excel, this field is named last saved by, and it may be represented this way in the load file. Although the names are different, the last saved by data can be mapped to the contributor data without any issues. The third category are fields that are in the load file which are not in Intella. This can occur when non-metadata information regarding a document is included in the load file. For example, document coding may have taken place prior to the load file being created and the coding decisions are saved to a specific fields in the load file. Such fields could be related to decisions regarding privilege and relevance. We refer to these fields as custom metadata. In these situations, we need to create additional fields or columns in Intella to hold the so-called custom metadata. In the current version of Intella, we don't have the ability to add custom columns or fields to Intella. The ability to create custom columns is currently being developed at the time of making this video, and it will be available in a future release. That said, we can create what we call tag columns to hold the additional metadata which is provided in the load file. Tag columns do have a limitation whereby a tag is created for each different value of metadata which is added. This is not really an issue for information such as data for coding decisions. For example, when coding to determine privilege, the top level tag is named privilege and the two sub tags are named yes and no. In this case, there can be only one of two choices selected by the reviewer, so there are only two tag columns created under the privilege tag. On the other hand, it may be the case where each item in the load file contains metadata for a unique reference number. In this case, a new tag will be created for each item in the load file as this data is unique for each item. Let's go back to mapping the fields in the load file to Intella fields. The user simply highlights the load file field in the left hand pane, then double clicks on the matching Intella field in the right hand pane. You can now see which load file and Intella fields are mapped together. If you make a mistake, you can remove the selected field by clicking on the right arrow. The correct field can then be selected and mapped. If you have a custom metadata field in the load file that is not an Intella, you can create a tag column. This is done by clicking on the tag column button and typing a name for the tag column. The newly created tag column can then be selected to map to the load file field. Note that there are special Intella fields that are not available for selection. For example, the data which populates the primary date field is worked out based on the date rules within Intella during the indexing process. The user cannot populate this field with load file data. Other special fields are family date, attachments, source and source path. Once all of the fields have been mapped, click on the check for errors button to make sure that there are no issues that will cause errors during the loading process. You will see the results of the error check in the status field. If errors are found, the line numbers and reasons for the errors will be displayed. The errors or records that have errors can be exported for analysis and troubleshooting by using these buttons. At the top right of the screen we have some settings in regards to external files. Native files that are included in the load file can be ingested into Intella. To do this you need to specify the column that contains the paths to the native files from the drop down. When the native files are imported, you'll be able to use Intella functions such as the Preview tab and the Open and External Application option. The type information can be extracted from the native files and populated into the MIME type and type fields in Intella by selecting this option. This is useful for making sure that the files which are loaded into Intella are categorized correctly. 
The text and metadata can be extracted from the native file directly by selecting this option. Note that the metadata from the native file will be used instead of the metadata from the load file. In cases where fields for a record are included in a load file but are not included in the native file, the load file fields will be used. Select Load Extracted Text when you want to import the extracted or OCR text of the document. This drop down is used to select the field that either has the path locations for the text files or the extracted text itself in the field. If the extracted text are in separate external text files, select this option. Once all of the settings are complete, you can save these settings as an import template by clicking on the Save Template button. Save templates are useful if you are loading many load files that require the same or similar field mappings. When the template is saved, click on the Finish button to ingest the load file. Once the load file has been ingested, you'll see the load file source under the location facet. When reviewing items from a load file in the preview window, you'll notice that there is a new tab named Image. This tab shows the image files which were ingested from the load file. The Contents tab shows the extracted text. Also, the native file can be viewed by clicking on the Open in External Application button. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This video, along with other training videos, can be viewed at the link shown below.